Hello friends, welcome. I'm a friend, your host Roy. Today we are going to explore divisibility rules. We are in series 1 real numbers, uh, episode number 11. Today's topic, divisibility rules. So let's dive in and this will be more like a recap of things that you have learned earlier. So we will try to go real fast through these. Divisible by 2. Divisible by the number 2. So when do we know that any given number, and let's just write some sample number, 2, 1, 5, 6. How do I know if this number, and I have randomly written out this number, how do I know this number is divisible by 2? Is it divisible by 2? Yes or no? So the rule states, all even numbers are divisible by 2. That is any number that ends with the digit 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8, and we know they are all even numbers. So any number that ends with these zeros, they will be even numbers and all even numbers are divisible by 2. So yes, this can be divided by 2 and the remainder will be 0. Now, what will be the quotient? Well, for that we actually have to do the division, but our goal is not to really find the quotient. Our goal is to find out whether this number is divisible by 2. And why do I need that? Remember, like in the last video we were talking about how do we find out prime factors of any given number. So if I have to find out the prime factors of this number 2156, I need to know where to start. So I have to first, I'm trying to break it down into factors. So I have to pick some number that will definitely divide into 2156 and using divisibility rule will come in really handy. So if you were to do this, so simply you will say that, you know, 2156 can be written in two times and because we know it will be definitely divisible by two so two ones are two then zero then seven and then eight and then you are going to continue to break this down again and because this is again another number which ends with eight and it's an even number so this can again be divided into two times something okay now let's move on to the next one how do we know divisibility by 3? So, in order to know if a number is divisible by 3, this is what we do. We add the digits that make up the number and we see if the sum of all those digits, if that sum is divisible by 3, then the whole number itself is divisible by 3. Let's take an example. Let's say we pick a number 247, randomly picking up a number 247. Is this number divisible by 3? If I divide by 3, will I get a whole number? How do we know? Let's add. So the number 2 plus 4 plus 7. I'm adding all the digits that make up my number. So my number is 2, 4, 7. I'm adding these digits. So 2 plus 4 is 6 plus 7 is 13. So I have 13. I know that 13 is not divisible by 3. So just by doing this, I can tell this number 247 is not divisible by 3. Okay. On the other hand, if I have a number 8, 1, 0, 3, 6, randomly wrote another number, is this number divisible by 3? And again, I'm not trying to find out the quotient, but I'm just trying to find out if this number is divisible by 3. So what I'll do, I'll add these digits. So in this case, 8 plus 1 plus 0 plus 3 plus 6. So let's add them. So 8 plus 1, 9 plus 0 is 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 6 is 18. And 18 is indeed divisible by 3 because 3, 6 are 18. So yes, this number is divisible by 3. See how amazing it is. Just by looking at a number, we can say if it is or not divisible by any given number. How about divisibility by 4? If the last two digits, if the last two digits of a given number is divisible by 4, then the entire number is divisible by 4. So, let us write a number 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 5, 8, 0. Is this number divisible by 4? Yes, it is. I am just looking at the last two digits. And if my last two digits are divisible, then this number, here it is 80. 
80 is divisible and here the last two digits you're taking the last two digits together you're not trying to add them so what you're trying to do is you're saying is 80 divisible by 4 and yes it is then this entire number is divisible by 4 so let's take one other example let's say 2 for I'm randomly writing out some numbers 3 5 maybe uh, uh, say 2 4 is this big number divisible by 4 and again I'm looking at the last two digits here and I'm saying yes 24 is divisible by 4 because 4 6 are 24 so this entire number yes it is divisible by 4 it's important to note that here I'm not trying to find out if 2 plus 4 6 is divisible I'm taking the last two digits together as a number and if that number is divisible by 4 then yes the whole number is divisible by 4 let's move on divisibility by 5 if the last digit of any number ends with 0 or 5 then that entire number is divisible by 5 1 0 2 0 1 5 8 9 0 I randomly wrote a pretty big number is this big number divisible by 5 yes it is because it ends with 0 so yes this is divisible by 5 on the other hand 2 7 9 8 1 2 is this number divisible by 0 no it is not this ends with 2 in order for it to be divisible by 5 it has to end with 0 or 5 similarly last one and randomly writing out more numbers here it's a lot of fun to write these 5 5 0 2 5 is this giant number divisible by 5 yes it is because the last digit is 5 let's move on now we are going to look at divisibility by 6 if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3 then we say the number is divisible by 6 so let's write some number maybe let's do randomly picking again number 2 1 7 8 2 is this number divisible by 6 that is a question well so the rule states the number has to be divisible by both 2 and 3 now because this number ends with 2 so we know this is divisible by 2 because it's an even number so the divisibility by 2 has passed that test is cleared now what about divisibility by 3 we have to again add these numbers so let us say 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 2 add all of them up 2 plus 1 3 plus 7 10 plus 8 plus 2 so 10 plus 10 is 10 plus 10 20 let's do it again so 2 plus 1 3 plus 7 10 and 10 20 now 20 is not divisible by 3 not divisible right so so this number this number can be divided by 2 but cannot be divided by 3 so this number is not divisible by 6 so friends see how interesting it is that without actually conducting the division looking at a number we can say whether this number is divisible or not divisible by 6 let's move on what about divisibility by 7 now this is a little bit strange some of you some of you may find it a little bit strange but anyway let's take a look at the rule if you double last digit then subtract that from the remaining number and if your answer is 0 or something which is divisible by 7 then the number is divisible by 7 a really complicated way let us just take again some examples so 2 1 7 let's just start with 2 1 7 so is this number divisible by 7 let's find out if you double the last digit so our last digit is 7 right if you double it so well we have 14 then subtract that from the remaining number and your remaining number is 21 right so you have your remaining number is 21 so what it means is that 21 minus 14 7 so if your answer is 0 or 7 in this case it is 7 if your answer is 0 or divisible by 7 then the original number is divisible by 7 so yes yeah, 7 divided by 7 is 1 so this number is indeed divisible by 7 and we know that because you know 217 if I just divide 
7 3s are 21 0 7 comes over 7 1s are 7 so yes this number is divisible by 7 and friends again you can take a lot more examples and try this at your own convenient time I'm just trying to you know show you a quick recap of all of these because this is going to be really coming handy in prime factorization and when we take up LCM and HCF divisibility by 8 if the last three digits of a number is divisible by 8 then the number itself is divisible by 8 again friends it's kind of very much similar to the divisibility test by 4 you're looking at the last three digits together of a number if that if that is divisible by 8 then the number itself is divisible by 8 let's move on if we how do we find out if a number is divisible by 9 if the sum of the digits that make up the number divisible by 9 the number itself is divisible by 9 pretty much exactly the same as the case was with 3 so you add the numbers and then you check if the sum is divisible by sum of the digits in the number if that number sum is divisible by 9 then the number itself is divisible by 9 and finally the last one is divisible uh, divisibility test for 10 simply if a number ends with 0 we know yes it is divisible by 10 let's write a big giant number 1 2 5 9 7 8 5 3 2 1 0 if I put 0 at the very end this number is divisible by 10 similarly if I have written like 1 7 9 5 is this number divisible by 10 it is not because the last digit has to be 0 for my number to be divisible by 10 